You see, the way I was raised was quite simple. I was taught that the harder you work, the harder you'll succeed. This is the main message of the American dream. So it's no surprise that my parents were so attracted to the prospect of living a new life in a place that boasts that kind of opportunity. And I still believe in the triumphs of hard work, to an extent, but not in the same way that I once did. Let me explain. The kind of hard work I was taught revolved around systems and institutions. You're supposed to study hard in the education system, which helps you get into the next education system, this one you have to pay for. There, you continue to study hard until you graduate and get a decent job, where you will work hard in order to move up within the institution that employs you. With 40 hour work weeks, you're obviously putting a lot of time and energy into these institutions. So what happens when they let you down? What happens when you're forced to go into tens of thousands of dollars of student debt just to learn at a university that operates more like a business than a school, a business that knows its place in the employment pipeline and exploits that to the fullest? What happens when you have to take a job that you don't enjoy just to afford the cost of living? Now, don't get me wrong. If you have a job, you should be proud of that. All the homies love being employed, especially my parents, who see opportunity and job stability as pretty much the same thing. But there's got to be more to success than stability, right? In a society as advanced as ours, shouldn't that be a given? The double-edged sword of living in America is that there's no ceiling above stability, but there's also not much of a floor either. While the American dream boasts a far more egalitarian message, the true advantage of living in America is the limitless ceiling part, the part that makes financial freedom a viable possibility for more people than you would think. In addition to our 9-to-5 workforce, there are entrepreneurs and investors everywhere, and a lot of the time, the same person can do all three. There's no rule saying that you can't. If anything, that's probably the best way to take advantage of living in a country like America. Right now, the internet is only accelerating this development, and it's doing so rapidly. There are countless YouTube videos out there on how to create multiple streams of income, and there's a whole category on TikTok that specializes in investing and financial advice. These are resources that many Americans, including my parents, never had access to before. School doesn't exactly teach us how to manage our money or even do our taxes. We have to figure it out all on our own or with the help of our families, some of which are just as clueless as we are. That leads me to the main point of this video. In many ways, the systems in this country have failed us, but that doesn't mean we don't live in a land of opportunity. In the wake of the information age, today's version of the American dream has found its redemption in the accessibility and abundance of outsized returns. Outsized returns are all about getting more out of something than what you put into it. Oftentimes, people are seeking outsized returns when they fund growing companies, invest in stocks, or buy cryptocurrency. You've probably seen the ads that show how much you would make if you invested X amount of dollars at this age. And they're right. If you invest your money right, it can grow exponentially. This is something that completely went against what I learned growing up. How can you get rewarded for doing nothing? When I first heard about this, it honestly sounded like a scam. The thing is, you're not exactly doing nothing. You have to make the right investments, which requires a little bit of research and a little bit of faith. And if you're new to investing, it's not half as scary as you'd think. For example, there are index funds which you can buy. These are essentially tiny shares of many different companies that you can purchase all at once, which helps diversify your investments and minimize your risks. Aside from stocks, I would argue that any investment has the potential for outsized returns. For instance, investing time into yourself. This can take the form of pursuing creative projects, working out, or simply reading about whatever it is that interests you. All of these activities compound, meaning they build off of themselves and add to your skill sets and knowledge. Knowledge! In the same way, the time that you put into these things is not at all lost. A lot of Americans, especially those from immigrant families, are taught to rely on the institutions in this country, whether that be for education or employment. But the explosion of information on the internet has changed everything. Nowadays, you can learn anything that you want just by Googling it. The greatest challenge is identifying what you actually want to put your time and energy into and finding the discipline to do so. For anyone who's been disillusioned with the fabled American dream they've once heard great things about, don't be. While American systems and institutions may let us down over and over again, there will always be an abundance of opportunity elsewhere. 
whether that be in the increasingly decentralized worlds of technology and media, or simply within ourselves. <laughs> right, it's currently 3 a.m. as per usual when I edit. Just wanted to thank you guys a lot for watching this video and for being patient with me as I've been working on this video for a while. It's an ambitious topic, I know, so I'm sure I can't possibly cover everything about the American dream, the information age, decentralization, or the institutions in our country. Like, these are all really big topics and my video is just a reflection of some of the things that I've been thinking about and some of the conclusions that I've tentatively come to. If you agree or disagree with some of the topics I talked about in this video, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I'm always open to hearing what you guys have to say. Also, I want to give a huge shout out to everyone who helped me reach 30 subscribers. I don't know when I expected to reach 30 subscribers, but definitely not immediately after my last video when I was raving about reaching 14 subscribers. It's all thanks to you guys for watching and interacting with my content and I'm really excited for the future of this channel. I recently just started school so I am still trying to strike a balance between schoolwork and making videos but don't worry I'm still putting out content so stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys next time.